This video takes a closer look at the appearance and features of the chat window in COM100 Live Chat, as well as how you can customize it. First, we will talk about the user interface elements of the chat window. There are two different kinds of chat window, one being the embedded chat window and the other being the pop-up chat window. Here is an example of embedded chat window, which is embedded into a web page. Here is an example of pop-up chat window, which appears in a separate browser window. Chat windows can have different color schemes. You can pick one from our gallery or use your own color to better complement your brand. Here is the title of the chat window, and below is the header. You can display your operator avatar and company logo in the header section, or you can show a banner image. This is the chat messages area that displays the content of a chat conversation between your visitor and operator. COM100 provides three message styles, and you can select one based on your own preferences. Here is the toolbar. The functions in the toolbar can be turned on or off according to your needs. The first icon in the toolbar is Send File, which your visitors can use to send files to you. Say we send an image file. After the image is sent, a thumbnail will be displayed in the chat window. By clicking the thumbnail, we can see the original image. Files can also be sent through simple drag and drop. If the file sent is not an image, a link will be shown. The second icon in the toolbar is Transcript. With this feature, a visitor can input his or her email address during a chat to receive the chat transcript. The third icon is used for visitors to rate on your chat service. This icon appears when your post chat survey is enabled. For details, please watch the video for the COM100 post chat survey. The fourth icon is Sound On. This is to turn on and off the sound alert when a chat message is received. This icon is for visitors to set their names during chatting. The sixth one is Print. Visitors can click on this icon to print the transcript. So far we've introduced the user interface elements of the chat window. Now let's see some of the other features of the chat window. First, besides the sound alert, your visitor can also have visual alert for new chat responses. In many cases, your visitor will probably be doing something else besides chatting. So, when a new message comes, the title of the browser tab will change back and forth to create a moving effect and attract visitors' attention. If you have multiple chat buttons for your different teams or websites, you can have multiple chat windows, each with a different style and visual elements. Let's go to the home page, which is for support. Click the chat button to start a chat, and we can see the header shows your banner image. Go to another page, which is for sales. Click the chat button to start another chat, and we can see the header of the chat window displays operator avatar and company logo. Also, icons in the toolbar are different. To customize your chat window, click Campaign and then Chat Window. Here you can set a suitable color scheme for your chat window. In the header section, you can choose to show your banner image by selecting one from our gallery or uploading one from your computer. Or you can display your operator avatar and company logo. Here you can choose the style of chat messages showing on your chat window. You can select one. Or if you want to have a different look, you can customize the style using your own CSS code. If you're not sure about how to customize the CSS code, you can read our knowledge base article or ask your web developers for help. Here you can switch between an embedded and a pop-up chat window. Here you can choose what options will be available in the toolbar for your visitors to use during chatting. To have multiple chat buttons and chat windows, each with its own style, we first need to enable a COM100 live chat feature called multiple campaigns. Create a new campaign called Campaign for Sales. Let's get to the chat window customization page. 
As we can see, there is a campaign combo box at the top of the page. All the settings we change in this page are limited to the current campaign, which is campaign for sales, and do not affect other campaigns. This is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you need any help, let us know.